Explore St. Kitts and Nevis, the first nation to offer citizenship by investment. Welcome to Opentiera, where today we dive into the twin island paradise known for its pristine beaches and lush landscapes. Join us as we explore the rich history, vibrant culture, and the amazing food of St. Kitts. The Federation of St. Kitts and Nevis is a two-island country located in the Leeward Islands of the Lesser Antilles in the West Indies. The islands have a combined land area of just 261 square kilometers or 100 square miles. St. Kitts is the larger island with an area of 168 square kilometers or 62 square miles, while Nevis covers 93 square kilometers or 35 square miles. The islands have volcanic origins and feature mountainous interiors surrounded by coastal plains. The islands have tropical maritime climates tempered by northeast trade winds. Average temperatures range from 24 to 30 degrees Celsius. Rainfall averages about 2,400 millimeters per year, with a dry season from January to April and a wet season from May to November. The mountainous interiors feature tropical rainforests, while the coasts are dotted with beaches, salt ponds and marshes. The highest peak is Mount Liamuiga on St. Kitts at 1,156 metres or 3,792 feet. The islands host rich biodiversity, including over 200 species of birds. St. Kitts and Nevis have designated protected tropical forest areas to help conserve habitats and wildlife. However, deforestation remains a challenge. Offshore coral reefs also support diverse marine ecosystems. The islands of St. Kitts and Nevis have a small population of around 53,000 people. However, the islands exhibit a rich cultural blend stemming from their history of native populations mixed with European colonization and African slaves. Around 90% of the population is predominantly of African descent. The remaining population is a mix of European, Asian and multiracial ethnicities. The native Carib population was largely wiped out during colonization. English is the official language and the language of government and education. However, an English-based Creole language is commonly spoken among the people for informal daily interactions. Christianity is the dominant religion today, with Anglican, Methodist, Pentecostal, Baptist and Catholic denominations. Before Christianity, the native islanders had their own polytheistic religious beliefs and rituals. The cuisine of the Caribbean islands of St. Kitts and Nevis is a delicious blend of African, French, British and Caribbean influences. From hearty stews to sweet treats, Kitts and Nevis cooking makes use of local ingredients like seafood, goat and tropical produce. Conch fritters are a popular appetizer made from fresh conch meat mixed with onion, bell pepper, flour and spices. The batter is then fried into crispy fritters and served warm with a spicy dipping sauce. The combination of tender conch encased in a crispy fried coating is hard to beat. Roti is a flatbread wrap that comes filled with curried meat and potatoes. It originated from Indian immigrants but has become a staple street food in St. Kitts and Nevis. The roti flatbread is made from dough flavored with ghee or oil then griddle cooked. It's then stuffed with a spicy curried chicken, beef, goat or vegetable filling and rolled up. Goat water is a hearty Kittichan stew that gets its name from the goaty flavor that seeps into the broth. It's made from a long cooked mix of tubers like yam and potato, goat meat, vegetables and tropical greens. Slow simmering creates a rich, flavorful stew, popular at celebrations and Sunday dinners. Sugar cake is a legacy of St. Kitts's history as a sugar producer. 
It's a dense, moist spice cake made with plenty of brown sugar. Cinnamon, cloves, nutmeg and vanilla lend warm, gingery sweet flavors. Sugar cake can be enjoyed plain, toasted or crumbled up as a cereal. It's a beloved kittishan treat with a spoonful of history. The islands of St. Kitts and Nevis were originally inhabited by Native American tribes, likely from South America, starting around 2000 to 3000 BCE. The native people were known as the Kalinago, or Island Caribs. Christopher Columbus sighted the islands in 1493 during his second voyage to the Americas. The first European colonies were established in 1623 to 1624 by English and French settlers. The English seized control of St. Kitts in 1625. Foreign colonial powers exploited the islands for their sugarcane production using African slave labor. St. Kitts, Nevis and Anguilla were united into a single British colonial territory in 1882 under the Leeward Islands administration. Anguilla eventually seceded in 1971. St. Kitts and Nevis moved towards full independence from Britain in the early 1980s. After centuries of foreign rule, St. Kitts and Nevis became an independent state on September 19, 1983. The islands adopted a constitutional monarchy and parliamentary democracy modeled after the UK. However, the British monarch remains nominal head of state. Today, St. Kitts and Nevis is a sovereign nation focusing on tourism, agriculture and manufacturing. However, the legacy of colonialism and slavery remains evident in its societal structure and culture. The islands celebrate their rich, albeit complicated, history. The economy of the Twin Island Federation of St. Kitts and Nevis has gone through many changes since the island's early days as sugar and tobacco colonies under European rule. For centuries under British and French colonial masters, St. Kitts and Nevis were highly profitable sugar plantation islands worked by African slaves. The European colonizers got rich while the islands remained poor and undeveloped. It was a one-crop economy totally dependent on the whims of foreign powers. When St. Kitts and Nevis finally gained independence in 1983, the economy began a major transition away from sugar. No longer under colonial masters, the islands sought to diversify their industries manufacturing and tourism grew. However, the decline of sugar also led to rising unemployment. Today, the economy has successfully diversified. Light manufacturing, tourism and offshore banking now drive its $860 million GDP. However, the islands have also had to rebuild after major hurricanes damaged critical industries. Recovery has been possible through foreign aid and resilient local communities. The country is said to have the oldest citizenship by investment programs in the world, starting the program in 1984. It implemented the citizenship by investment program to stimulate economic growth and attract foreign investment, offering individuals the opportunity to obtain citizenship by making significant financial contributions to the nation's development. This pioneering initiative has since become a model for similar programs in various countries worldwide. St. Kitts and Nevis still face economic challenges today, including impacts from global pandemics, climate change, and continued vulnerability to natural disasters. However, its people maintain hope that through economic diversity, innovation and independent self-rule, a prosperous future lies ahead. The Caribbean islands of St. Kitts and Nevis may be small in size, but they boast a vibrant and eclectic culture seen through local festivals and traditions. These are two popular festivals that give a glimpse into Kittitan and Nevisian culture and heritage. 
Carnival is a major festival celebrated in St. Kitts and Nevis each December and January. The event involves colorful parades, vibrant costumes, music, dancing, food and more. Carnival has its roots in emancipation celebrations during slavery and features traditions with African and Caribbean influences. A carnival queen is crowned, calypso competitions are held, and dance groups called Moko Jumbies amaze crowds on stilts. Carnival is a time for revelry and joyous freedom of expression. Kulturama is an annual summer festival celebrating the history, culture and identity of Nevis. The event features dance, music, theatre, storytelling, local cuisine and parades showcasing popular folklore characters. There are also beauty pageants, a farmer's market, arts and crafts exhibits and carnival-style competitions. Kulturama honors the island's past while promoting cultural heritage. If you enjoyed this video on St. Kitts and Nevis, you'll love this next one.